Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I want to talk about the new synchronization options we have in Photo Raw for taking adjustments you've made on one photo and applying them to one or more others. It's gotten much more detailed and fine grained in 2019.5. And one of the use cases I really like it for is for synchronizing retouches. Now, let me show you here. I have a set of photos. That's, you know, this, this happens to be a set of five photos from a panorama. And I know I have a dust spot up in the upper right corner of each one of the frames. Now, this could be a scenario where you've taken um, many different scenes and maybe it's a spot that's showing up in the sky across you know, the, the course of a day. Uh, in my case, it's scenes from you know, the, the same time of day. But the point being is, you know you've got one of these spots there, but not all of the photos might be getting treated the same way. You may want to apply different filters or things like that. So what we can do, I'm going to go into this first photo here. Let's bring this into the edit module. And there is my dust spot right above the cursor here the upper right. Let's take care of it first off. I'll grab the retouch brush. That one's already selected and just a single click to take care of the dust spot. That's not the particularly interesting part. And let's say for the sake of argument, I wanted to do a little bit of stylization. Let's, um, let's go ahead with vivid and maybe add a little bit of warmth, you know, just so I can, I can tell the difference from this photo from all the others based on its style. And you know, what? let's add a little bit of detail. We'll just go ahead and add a low amount of detail there and bring this back over into Browse. Because now what I want to do is address that dust spot across all the other photos in the set that I know it exists in because I had something on my sensor or something on my lens. But I don't necessarily want to synchronize all of the editing changes, all the style that I've added. I just want to get those dust spots taken care of. So imagine you've got a scenario where you've taken photos over the course of three hours in 10 different locations, but that same spot is there over and over again. Well, now we've got a good option to deal with it. So back in Browse, this first photo is selected. I'll shift click, select all five. And down in the lower right corner, I have the sync button and apply settings. We've got all sorts of options in here different options for each one of the modules. In develop, you can drill down into the individual sliders on tone, on color, on purity. You know, tone and color, you have complete control over what's going to be uh, applied and synchronized. I actually don't want anything in develop. I just want those retouching options. And with that, I can click apply, and that's going to take care of fixing the dust spot on the other four photos I have in this set. So this is a really, really handy, uh, technique for dealing with dust spots across a, a variety of photos, and they can be disparate in nature. It could be a pic one picture of a forest, one picture of a beach, one picture of a, you know, a mountain. If you had the same camera, that same spot was there all the time, this is going to be a much faster way to clean up the spots and still be able to style each photo individually. Hope you've enjoyed the video. My name's Scott Davenport, and thanks for watching.